folks, and welcome back to another Wise Game video. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm still using my Kindle Fire for these cam shots right here until I actually get an actual camel with a, a microphone set up. I'm also working on a room in my house where we're not staring at an oven and a shelf up here with a bunch of pictures on it for future videos when it comes to these one-on-one -on -one cam shots. Alright, now what I'm going to be discussing in today's video is a great mod which works along with computer games or your PC games and it's called Wii Mod. It used to be called Infinity but now it's upgraded to Wii Mod. So if you have the Infinity app still it should have an upgrade button. You click on that and it will now turn into Wii Mod. If you're freshly just getting it, it will be Wii Mod, obviously. And it works with your computer games as long as they're installed. So it does work with Steam games as long as these games are installed also on your computer system and other kind of PC games. It will not work with multiplayer games like MMOs, like World of Warcraft, because that would just be a wicked cheat and an exploit because you're playing against other players. So it does not work with those games, but it will if it has a single mode option. The game we're going to be playing with this today, or tying this together with today, is Tales of Vesperia, the Definitive Edition, which came out just about over a week ago. It actually came out January 10th. It is a pretty intense game as far as the boss fights go. It's the first game I've played in a couple of years where I'm getting my ass killed like every time I come across a boss fight in this game unless you spend a lot of time and do a lot of grinding above the boss's level now do I use these on a normal basis cheat codes or whatnot no never hardly ever it's not a bad thing I mean if you do that's that's totally up to the player I only do if I really get into a pickle like I did last night or I want to release a video covering one of these trainer systems so I will have a timeline at the bottom of the video that you could advance to just the part that we cover the app if you don't want to watch this, the uh, discussion part, but you may miss some things that we cover. So just keep that in mind, but I will have that down in the comments section. So what made me decide on using it last night? Well, this is what happened. I was actually playing Tales of Vesperia, and I was in this dungeon, this real deep dungeon, and it was like a mazy dungeon. It was a pain in the ass dungeon, bottom line. And I just couldn't wait to get out of this place. And at the very end was a save spot in a boss fight. Now in Tales of Vesperia, you can only hold on to 15 of each item. Once you use up those items, you've got to replenish them by going to town and buying them. Or if they're in a box or something. I already combed the whole area. I got all the items. There was no more items. I ended up beating the boss after a few tries, but I ended up depleting all my items doing so. So I ran through, you know, I ran out of all my items, figured no big deal. Once I get back to town, I'll restock the items, stay in and in. We know how that goes. After some cutscenes, I arrived in a small poor town and there was no item shop. I went to go into the inn, and just as I was entering the inn, two soldiers stopped me in a cutscene, kicked in. And it ended up turning into another mini boss battle. The rest of my team split up. I was left with only one guy, Yuri, who has no healing items or no healing abilities, fighting against these two soldiers. So they beat me up a couple of times pretty good. Just because I ran out of health all the time. I had no way of getting that back. So I was stuck. I decided to let me go back to the dungeon at the last save, go up a level, maybe that will help, maybe some items will drop that I could use, no items ever did, I did go up a level, went back, fought them, it didn't make a difference. I figured the only option I have now is to try this, Wii Mod. Now, to use Wii Mod, your game does have to be supported and in the list of the games that they support for it to work. They have Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, finally, good. All right, so I turned it on, 
went back against that boss fight, and of course I won, because I used infinite health. They don't have too many codes for this game. That was one of the options. That's what I used. And what's great about this device, trainers compared to old cheat codes, is cheat codes, once they're embedded in the game, you can't go back to normal. You're always stuck playing in that god mode. With the trainers, you could shut them on and off whenever you need them, so you're not stuck. And they don't cause the games to crash usually which the old cheap devices did. So these trainers do work out fantastic. So if you do enjoy playing with these cheats at times, that's what we're gonna cover next. So we're gonna go jump on the computer system, we're gonna show you the mod, how to get it, and how it works with playing Tales of the Spirit. And again, I will have the uh, links in the description panel of this video. All right, so here we are now. We're actually at the uh, website where you could download this for your computer system. So it does have up here my account, but I never set up an account, and it's been working fine with my game so far. But there is special perks and stuff um, if you actually upgrade where you actually pay for the version of this of this app. It's not too expensive. I think it's something like six bucks or something like that. But so far for me, it's been working fine for what I need it for. So you just simply click on the free download button here. It's going to download onto your computer system, and then you just install it. Once you've done that, it's going to look like this. This is what the icon is going to look like on your desktop. I renamed mine to Steam Cheater, but again, it could be used for any computer game. It doesn't have to necessarily be a Steam game. So we're just going to click on this now and open it up. Let me slide it over from the other screen. And this is basically what it looks like. They made it look really, really nice now, fancy. It's uh, it's a really nice, nice looking plus um, operable app. These are the games that we could see that it's supporting so far. I actually thought I seen more listed earlier. I don't know if it depends on the menu that I'm looking at at this at this given time, but we could see right here that it says not installed 483 games. On the top is the games that I have installed on my computer system that this supports. Again, it will not support every computer game, PC game there is, and it has to be actually embedded into their system for it to all work. So we could see that these are the games that I have installed, and if you don't want to look at this list, you could just simply minimize it. And we'll poke around in here and we'll show you a little bit about this. Again, if you go to the dashboard, it's going to let you know new titles that it's going to be support and what's coming out and all that good stuff. Now, on the top right here, next to games, it says requests. What this is, and I'm not sure if you, you actually have to have a login for this to actually vote here. What this is, is that this is a voting system. And if they get enough players to vote on a particular title... They're going to put their men on it and try to come up with cheat codes where now it's going to be part of the list where now you can play that game with those cheat codes or those trainers. So once you actually click on one game like this, we're going to look at it. And if you look halfway between the media, you're going to see like a little purple line. From what I understand, the votes have to reach that little purple line in the middle for them to consider it. For them to review it and see if the game is worth it for them to put their creators on it to actually make these trainers for us to actually use the game. So that's what that's about. Now a couple of other cool things that they did from when it was just Infinity. Infinity was more of a basic looking model. This is more of a uh, in-depth model. So now if we click on games here and we click on say oh Final Fantasy 3 for instance. It's going to let you know right here where the game is, is from. So if you got it from Steam, it's going to let you know right here. Now if you look down on options here and click on options, this is actually where your cheat codes are going to be that you can use.
right here. If you go to toggle this on or off, it's going to say this is only for pros only. What they mean by pro only is this is if you pay for the addition of using this program. So that's one of the perks you get by just using the slider. If you don't pay for it and you're using the free model like I am, then you have to toggle it within the game with the number pad that they're showing to actually activate or shut this off. So the game we're going to cover today is Tales of Vesperia, as I mentioned earlier. And we're going to see if we go to Options, and again, it's supported by Steam. It's from Steam. If we click on Options now, we're going to see that these are the few codes that they have right now for Tales of Vesperia. They could always add more, depending on the votes, and depending on them also. So again, we could see that I would now have to launch the game to be able to to uh, toggle these on or off so we have uh, unlimited health unlimited TP so on and so forth okay all that's left to do now is to actually play the game to launch the game now to tie this all together now when you're using this program and you want to use these cheats you do not want to launch the game manually from your desktop you want to launch it from here where it says play so we're going to click play and it should open up Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, now we're inside the game. All we have to do now is just see what toggle we have to hit to actually turn on the code that, that you actually want to use. So if we look back on, um, on the mod here, we're going to see if I go to use unlimited health and unlimited TP, they're actually tied together. So we would have to toggle F1. So once we do this, we're going to open up the game. Well, actually, let's just keep our eye on this for now. And we should hear a little ping sound once I hit F1. Now we're going to see in the mod that it actually turned on that code. Now we're going to open up the game again. And now they should have infinite health now and infinite TP. There's the, uh, there's the health, and there's the TP right down there where the feather is. And now we're going to go out and get, in, get into a battle and see if it actually works. I just came out to this town, so I don't really know where I'm going yet. Hope a cutscene doesn't kick in. My luck, it will. Okay, so far so good. Now, just to see the difference, what we're going to do first is we're going to shut it back off. So I'm going to hit F1 again. And now we're going to actually see if our guy's health goes down. Okay, the TP's going down. And we could see their health slowly going down. And, okay, so we see that it's working right there with it off. Now we're going to turn it on. So we're going to hit F1. You're going to hear the ping again. Now we're going to get into another fight. And we're going to see now if it uh, if their health goes down. We could see it's already charged back up. I didn't heal them. And we could see that they're getting hit and they're not getting infected. Let's see if you could change it in the midst of a battle. Now it's starting to go down. See, his TP just started going down just a little bit. So let's try it like this. These guys are actually going down pretty fast, these monsters right here. They must be kind of a low level. Let's see if we could get both of those to kick in. Yeah, good. All right, so now, let's see. 
All right, so now it's off, the mod's off, so we could see their health going down a bit. Now let's turn it back on. See, so it went right back up. So it's a great, this Wii mod works fantastic. I, I haven't had any game issues using it, even though I don't use it too much, but we could see that it's definitely working. We'll turn it back off. And there you could see, now it's in normal game mode again. And that's basically it, guys. So again, your game has to be in the list. And you could also use the search field. Let me show you guys that. Let me show you that really fast. So if we open this back up, you could just see right up here the search bar to the top left. And in there, you could just type in your title instead of going through this huge list to see if your game's actually being supported. Alrighty, so if you do decide on getting this and you do want to be part of judging for games, like giving them ideas to actually request a game on the, on the request, you actually want to uh, set up an account, log in, and then you'll be able to vote on certain titles and games. All right, folks, so until then, I hope this helped. And again, we're playing Tales of Vesperia using Wii Mod as the Trainer Mod. Until then, thanks for watching Wise Gamer. Feel free to comment below. Subscribe for more future videos, and we'll catch you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.